What a win for the Sky Blues of Coventry City. Hello guys, how are we all doing? I know you're probably thinking, what happened today, Matt? I've been ill, I've not been very well, so I didn't actually get to the CBS today, but I've watched it from home, and boy, am I happy with that. We're back at it again with the late goals. Victor Jokeres' penalty in the 93rd minute won us the game, and must I, I must say as well, we deserve to win that game. It wasn't luck. I thought we were the better team through that game. But wow, honestly, delighted. It's made me feel a bit better. And I'll obviously be looking forward to going to Sheffield United on Boxing Day. But what a performance from the Sky Blues. It's the first time we've ever beaten the Baggies at the CBS or Rico Arena, whatever you want to call it. First time, you know, they're a bit of a bogey team. So great result. And remember as well, coming into this, West Brom were in really good form. I think it was five wins in a row they'd won before coming into this game and you know full of confidence 4,000 fans coming down West Bromwich Albion with that momentum going up the table and they've got a very good squad as well I was thinking mm, do you know what I, I actually predicted a draw for this game but well done to Coventry City get in there what a result that is honestly I'm over the moon especially after that Swansea draw where we were 3-0 up and we threw it away with about 25 minutes to go it's glad I'm glad to see us picking up three points today. There's a few players I want to go through today with the performance because I thought Coventry City were really good and we've closed the gap on the playoffs and I think if the team keeps playing like this, I think we'll actually make the playoffs, honestly. So Coventry City lined up today with Ben Wilson, Michael Rose, Doyle, Panzo, Burrows, Hamer, Sheaf, Bidwell, Allen, O'Hare and Jokeres. A player I want to start with mentioning is Jack Burrows. He is so good and Bidwell as well. I know Bidwell came in for a bit of criticism at the start, but I really like these two as a fullback. You know, the fullback pairing there is really good defensively because before last season we had the likes of Ian Matson so good going forwards and he's been very good for Burnley this season. Bidwell's more of a defensive left back, but I think he actually offers a bit going forward. He tried to pop a shot from distance earlier in the game and I thought we were really solid at the back. It was a really good display, really mature from the boys. I know we're missing McFadden, so for us to get a clean sheet without him is very, very impressive. And I think this is looking very good going into that Sheffield United game, which is going to be absolutely massive. As for the midfield, really impressed. Honestly, I thought in that first half an hour, Coventry could have been out of sight. We were so good. We created so many good chances and... We're just not clinical. I think that's the difference between us being inside the playoffs and just outside of it. We need to take those chances. Eventually, today, we did. But in the first half, I was looking at the stats and I had it with West Bromwich Albion commentary and they were sort of saying, wow, Coventry are all over us. I think the Baggies will be happy to get out of here with a point. And Coventry did deny them getting a point in the end. Second half was a bit more even, actually. I thought West Bromwich Albion came back into it. I thought they, were, they offered more. And I think with them as well, I looked at the benches and thought, oh, they've maybe got more quality to bring on. But the substitutions were really good from Robbins today. I thought all the players that came on made a contribution. We had Kelly, Palmer came on earlier, Tavares came on in the 90th minute, as he always does, right, at, right as the game's ending. But, wow, Jokeres with the penalty. Honestly, I was not particularly confident. I, I was delighted when we won the penalty, but then I thought to myself, who's going to take it? I know Jokeres has scored one for us now, but it was a bit of a shabby penalty, and he did miss one last season. You've got Martin Waggon, but he's on the bench. He's quite good at penalties, and so too is Matty Godden. But once again, he's not on the pitch. So Jokeres stepped up, and that will do his confidence a world of good. He'll now be thinking, hang on, I feel quite confident taking penalties. Two out of two this season. And by the way, top scorer in the championship. He is boosting that price tag money. Victor Jokeres has got to be worth quite a lot, honestly. I know Mark Robinson said we're not going to sell him in January, but goodness me, if we do... I'll be expecting quite a bit of money for it. So then looking at the table after the result, looking forwards now, Coventry City move up to 8th. And of course, that was one of our games in hand tonight. But we've still got one game in hand on most teams. So we could climb the table further here. We've got Preston and QPR just ahead of us. One point ahead of us. But one more game played than us. Uh, you've got Watford in there. I think Watford will probably finish in there come the end of the season. Blackburn, who are a bit of a... Strange one. They don't draw. They win and they lose. But I don't know if they can ride it out and finish in the top six. So I think we all know the opportunities there for Coventry City to get in. Can we just keep improving as we have done this season? I think when you look at that top six, I think Burnley, Sheffield United, Watford and Norwich are the sides you'd think would finish in there. Even if Norwich and Watford haven't been amazing this season, you think they'll probably still finish in there. And then as for fifth and sixth and 
maybe fourth, I don't know, it depends how it works out. I think you've got teams really charging towards it, like Middlesbrough, West Bromwich Albion, despite losing today, I still think they've got a chance, and Coventry City, who, like we said, under Mark Robbins, are progressing every season, you know, every year for the last six years, we've progressed up the football pyramid, which is absolutely fantastic, and I really think Coventry City could do it this season. I know it might seem a bit biased, and I was feeling this last season when we were pushing towards the playoffs, but... Last season we started well and faded away. As for this season, I seem I feel like we're growing into it. If that makes sense, you know we've got better as the games have gone on, and I know we've got tough games coming. Looking ahead to that Sheffield United game, that's going to be really tough. You know they're a really top side, and going to Bramall Lane is always tricky. But I feel confident that Coventry City can accumulate enough points. I think with this season, the championship is so congested that 70 points might be enough to get you in that top six. And that's something Coventry City certainly could achieve. We're nearly at the halfway point and we're on 33 points. So looking at that, we're projecting about 69, 70 points this season. And bear in mind, we're picking up momentum as well. So yeah, really tricky games come in as we look forward to them. Sheffield United, I'll be going to that. Lots of Coventry fans going. A really tricky one on Boxing Day, but Coventry City don't seem to be afraid of winning against anyone in this division. We've beaten some top teams and we beat a top team tonight. And then we've got a couple of home games, Cardiff and Bristol City, where I actually think Coventry City could pick up maximum points. That might sound greedy, but the way we're looking at it, I think those sides coming to Coventry might think, oh, God, we'll take a draw. Coventry are looking really good. So it's brilliant. Coventry City are sneaking under that radar again. But if we actually break into that top six, which we could do on Boxing Day, then we'll start to get a bit more attention. And then as much as I like getting the attention, you then think, oh, is Robbins going to get pulled away or Yoko is going to get pulled away? I'd like to think they'll stay with this project because Coventry City are certainly a club pushing in the right direction. Final thing I'll mention today is what was quite interesting with watching on the TV instead of actually being at the game was I saw a few different angles and things and um, the camera did actually pan in on Doug King as Coventry City scored and he was really, you know, proper celebrating and it was more than just a, an owner celebrating his team doing well. It genuinely came across like he's a really passionate at Coventry City fans. That was a great thing to see at the end. So then guys, that wraps it up from me. I'm hopefully going to feel better in the next couple of days. And we've got a big game on Boxing Day away at Sheffield United. Do make sure to drop a like, do subscribe as well. And I will see you on the next one. Peace out.